morning, Mr. Grimsdale. Yes, and Mr. Pitkin. How do you do? Would you come this way? Good morning everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now this morning I am in Gap Road Cemetery in Wimbledon, London. Um, and it's not a massive cemetery by the looks of things, but it looks okay. Now today we've come to find the final resting place of that fabulous actress Imogen Hassel. Um, some people say Hazel, Hassel, Hassel, it depends how you say it, but I say Hassel. Um, and she sadly passed way too young. She was an amazing actress. Um, she had a great future ahead of her, uh, but a lot of complications in her life as well. I will tell you about that real soon. Now, I've just come from Streatham Park Cemetery. Um, I'm not going back there anymore, okay? I went there to film something, um, and I just found, it's one of those places where you feel like every staff member in there, the grounds people are just watching you and then they're following you around and you're doing your bit to camera. So Streffen Park Cemetery for me get a big voila, okay? Not anymore. There's a fox over there. Hello Foxy Bingo. Uh, but this one, Gap Cemetery in Wimbledon, seems to be okay so far. We'll see if we can have a little look at the fox. I don't know if you can see him guys. <sighs> just over there. There he is, running off into the distance, look. Like a crazy fox that he is. Um, still turning around to look at me every now and again. I get slightly distracted, quite easily. Uh, so yeah, so um, that was Streffen Park Cemetery. I don't want to talk about them anymore. They've just annoyed me, just not bothering with it. Anyway, let's get on to the good stuff. Imogen Hassel, I'll tell you a little bit more about her life real soon. If you like the video today, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Sounds like there's a railway track along there. It's going to be one of those noisy ones. Um, <laughs> and uh, hit that notification bell. Okay, so whilst I'm looking around, I've noticed two little churches either side. And it's something that I haven't done for a long time. And we need to go and check the doors, really, don't we? Because what use would it be coming to places like this if we don't go and have a little nose? Now, do you go left or do you go right first? I'm right-handed and left-footed. I've got a very complex brain. Um, so I always tend to veer to the left. I always do, I don't know why, but I always do. If there's ever an option, heads or tails, I'll always go tails. Shouldn't tell people that really, should I? Um, but <laughs> you never know, might be uh, tossing the coin one day to see who buys the first beer. Um, but yeah, if it's a left or right option, I don't know why I always go there. It's like when I watch the film Labyrinth, have you ever seen that? David Bowie, Jennifer Connelly, and there's always options in that film, and I'm always like, go left, go left, go left. Even though I've seen it hundreds of times before. Anyway, here's a little church, let's go and have a little look. That's a Fort Knox special, isn't it, by the looks of it? Yeah, damn it. Shame. So, that's that one. The left one was closed. So now we'll go to the, the one on the right. Unless you're coming into the cemetery, then it's the one on the left. I'm just talking nonsense now, aren't I? Anyway, it's because it's cold. <laughs> I've been up early. Um, got really annoyed with the uh, people at Streffen Park Cemetery. Can't tell me here. It's a cemetery, dude. Right, so let's go and have a look and check out the other place, shall we? Whilst I'm walking there, I might as well say to you guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome, first of all, and thank you. Um, there's over 240 odd videos. Please go back and watch some because you might find one of your favorite people on there or a 
victim of crime of a crime story that you've never heard about before so it's definitely worth going to check out anyway here's the next one let's have a little look oh what a surprise another Fort Knox damn it yep we're not getting in any of those today it was worth a try okay we'll carry on now shall we Imogen Hassel was born on the 25th of August 1942 to the 16th of November 1980. She was an English actress who appeared in 33 films during the 1960s and 1970s. Named after Shakespeare's Cymbeline heroine, she was born in Woking, Surrey, to a financially comfortable family of artists and businessmen. Her grandfather, John Hassel, and her aunt, Joan Hassel, worked as illustrators, while her father, Christopher Hassel, was a poet dramatist and lyricist. She had a brother, Nicholas. Her godfather is said to have been uh, the composer, Ivan Novelli, uh, with whom her father had worked extensively as a lyricist. Conversely, on occasion, Hassel would proudly claim that this distinction was Sir William Walton's, with whom her father had collaborated in the early 50s, but was also denied by Lady Walton. Hassel boarded and attended Elmhurst Ballet School, Camberley, 1952 to 1954, and the Royal Ballet School, White Lodge, Richmond Park, 1955 to 1958. Later in 1958, aged 16, she studied in New York, then returned to live with family in the Vale of Heath by Hampstead Heath, London. She continued her absorption of the theatre mode with study at London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art, 1960 to 1962, following which she joined the company of Royal Shakespeare Company for one season. After enjoying an appearance in the William Douglas home comedy, The Reluctant Peer, at the Duchess Theatre in 1964, she appeared in British TV adventures series of the 1960s, such as The Saint, The Avengers, The Persuaders. In her first significant role, film role, she played Tara in The Long Duel, 1967. She gained further public notice as a dominant cave girl when Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth, 1970, and played major roles in Carry On Loving and the cult horror film Incense for the Damned of the same year. In 1973, she appeared in White Cargo alongside David Jason. Hassel was married to actor Kenneth Ives, and before they were married, they had a daughter called Melanie Ives Hassel, who died four days after being born in 1972. She was briefly married to actor Andrew Knox, the son of actress Alexander Knox and Doris Nolan, who later committed suicide in 1987, but they separated after a few months of marriage and she lost the baby that she was expecting. Hassel's private life was a regular subject of interest in the tabloid newspapers. She was known for playing sexy, scantily clad characters in film and TV. This and the revealing outfits she wore at film premieres resulted in her being referred to as the Countess of Cleavage. There's our friendly fox again. I've got nothing for you, mate. I haven't got any lunch. I eat all mine. Hey, he's looking to see if I've got some food, I expect. After her failed relationships, the death of her child, her miscarriage and her career decline, she became very depressed. Following previous suicide attempts, she was found dead in her Wimbledon home on the morning of the 16th of November 1980 when she failed to meet a friend, the actress Susanna Lee, with whom she was due to go on holiday with to Mombasa that day. She had apparently committed suicide by overdosing on Chewinol tablets. I think I said that correct. Chewinol tablets. Anyway, um, so there's the very brief, short, complicated but fabulous life of Imogen Hassel and you know I made the point of the fact that she was obviously sort of what the tabloids described as scantily clad uh, which you don't really hear so much of these days but what it means it, I'm sure you all know what it means don't need to tell you it basically just means she's you know she's wearing stuff that's quite revealing or you know but the way I see it is she's wearing what she wants to wear. Who cares what the tabloids think? Um, you know, 
if people want to wear what they want, they're entitled to wear what they want. Um, I'm not here to judge them on that and neither should anyone else be. But yeah, she lived a very complex life and it's such a shame and so sad because um, not only was she beautiful, talented, uh, clever, obviously born into quite a well-to-do family as well, um, with so many connections in the entertainment industry. Um, you know, it must have been pretty hard for her with the loss of her children, basically, you know, and then the former partner taking his own life. Things are a bit difficult, aren't they, when, when you have all that going on in life, you know, and we don't know until we've been in those shoes, you know. Anyway, I've been having a good look around and you know what? I think I found it. Here we are. In loving memory of Imogen Hassel. Born 25th of August 1942, died 16th of November 1980. So there we have it, the final resting place of Imogen Hassel. Um, just want to say thank you Imogen for your contribution to uh, the film and entertainment industry. Uh, you know, carry on films, horror films, uh, amazing, amazing actress and went through a really tough time. Um, sadly couldn't cope with it anymore, took her own life. So bless you Imogen, bless you. So there we have it the final resting place of Imogen Hassel. And what a sad ending to her young life there. You know, lots to take on uh, with the loss of her children and of course her former partner taking his own life as well. You know, we don't know what sort of pressures people go through in life, do we? So we can't ever judge. And uh, it's a shame because I think she would have had such an amazing career ahead of her. You know, and for a young actress to be in a carry-on movie, a horror movie, um, and so many other, you know, 30 odd movies in the, uh, the amount of time that she was acting, I think is, is amazing. So on that note, if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you remember Imogen, then uh, of course, leave me your comments down below. And if you haven't done so already, maybe subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a penny. And I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Tea case. Come in. Make yourself comfortable. Help yourself to a drink.